but the real game changer was I went from 2 megabits upload up to 60 upload speed sometimes. So before we get into the video, and so that you don't waste your time, if you've got low broadband speeds, whether that be download or upload, this could change everything for you, because it did for me. And in a little bit more depth, I had fibre to cabinet and then copper to house. My download speeds were around about 15 megabits and my upload speeds were terrible, uh, around 2 megabits. Um, which basically meant that it took me forever to upload anything. And if other devices were being used in the house, if my son was uh, gaming or anything like that, it just messed everything up. Um, his ping was anywhere from 350 up to 999, just absolutely terrible. I tried looking at other broadband providers, uh, but obviously they use exactly the same wires and exactly the same network, so there was no change there. I'd looked at the Starlink network, which is obviously coming online sometime this year, uh, 2021 hopefully, um, but it's not online yet, and that's around about £90 plus installation which is great for the speeds that it should provide, uh, but it isn't here yet, so I needed something else. The provider I was using was BT. Nothing that I could do could increase the speed. So a friend of mine suggested to look at mobile data. So if that's something that you think is gonna work for you, then watch the rest of the video and I'll just talk to you about how I went through it and the changes that it made. And the main change was that I went from, as I say, 15 megabits download speed, uh, up to maximum 60, 70 megabits download speed. But the real game changer was I went from two megabits upload up to 60 upload speed sometimes. So superb if, you, if you're doing any video editing and then sending that up to the net, it's fantastic. The first thing that I had to do was find a mobile Wi-Fi router. And after doing a bit of research, well, a lot of research, the one that I decided on was the Huawei 818-263. Uh, it's a mobile router. You simply put your provider's card into it, get a data package and away you go. Right, let's have a look at that router. Right, so this is the router itself. As I say, it's the Huawei B818-263. Uh, I don't think there's a later model out of this yet and it does everything that I could possibly want it to do. If we have a look on the back, so I've got a a cable coming out of it, an Ethernet cable coming out, and that goes into a, a mesh Wi-Fi system. Now, it doesn't matter what country you're in, whether you've got uh, LTE or whether you've got 4G, this should work. It's got four antennas inside it, but what you can do is, if you pop that out, you can put an external antenna on it. Now, I did get one of these, and I'll show it you in a moment, um, but it didn't increase the speeds because I've got clear line of sight, basically, to the mobile mast. And if we just flip it onto the bottom and undo that, this is where your provider's card goes. It's not a nano card, and it's not a full-size card. It's the micro card. So let's just close that back up again. As you can see, without any external aerial on, I've got three bars on it there, so I'm getting really good reception. And the antenna is probably about half a mile away. And this is the home screen of the router. You just access it by going through your networks and clicking on the router icon. And as you can see on this, uh, the Wi-Fi is switched off, and that's because I'm going through a mesh, so I don't want an additional Wi-Fi signal coming from the router. And you can whip through it. There's various things on there you can set up um, data roaming etc etc if you want to take the card abroad and the router abroad uh, wi-fi settings so we've got it switched off on here you can if it's switched on you can have it a uh, five gig preferred if you want the faster setting but obviously the five gig is uh, it works over shorter distances devices lists all the devices and if we go back to the home page on that you'll actually see uh, that currently we've got 44 devices listed. If you go into your tools, various bits and pieces in there like statistics, etc., etc., and parental control. And there's a bit that I just wanted to show you. Uh, I've got to find it. Um, system. Yeah, so 
this is what you want to be looking at if you're going to get a, a good download speed, uh, a good bit of data coming through. Um, there are other things on the web. I'll probably put a link at the bottom, actually, just to uh, just to show you how these work because it comes in useful when you're trying to get a good signal. And that's that. So to see whether this is going to be any good for you, the first thing that you need to do is get your mobile phone out, disconnect it from your Wi-Fi network in the house, and just do a speed check on it uh, on your mobile network. Whoever your mobile provider is, if that speed check comes back with the sort of speeds that you're interested in that excite you, that are better than the ones that you've got with your, with your wired system, then go to that provider's web page and just have a look at the data packages they do. Uh, you only need data only, you don't need anything else. So in the UK, mine's with Vodafone and I got a, an unlimited package um, with no throttling whatsoever and that's £20 a month. Uh, in America, in Europe, you're going to get basically the same. But what you might find is when you do the speed check on your phone with your provider, it might not be good because that provider's antenna may be too far away. It may be blocked by a building. So if it's not giving you the speeds that you want, then obviously it's not worth doing it. But your second step is maybe to borrow a phone off your friend that's on a different provider, do the same speed check in your house uh, or in your flat, and see what speed you're getting back from that. Because you don't need to obviously stick to the provider that you've got with your phone. You, what you want is the best mobile speeds that you can get. Nothing to do with the voice that you get on your phone currently. If you're happy with that, great, but you can go somewhere else for your data speeds. Once you've settled on a provider then that gives the sort of speeds that you need, just order the card, get it all set up. Uh, and my next step then was to cancel BT and cancel the telephone line all of which were costing me th about £35 a month for deplorable speeds and uh, the line connection as well for voice. I don't need the voice because I've got a mobile phone. I don't need the internet speeds because they were atrocious. So I've basically knocked uh, over a third off the price that I was paying for broadband and I've got much, much, much faster speeds now. Not only are the speeds better, because the speeds are higher, it means more devices can be connected. It means that my son can game as much as he likes and the ping stays good. If I'm uploading, it doesn't affect his gaming at all, which is a godsend. Now, the other thing with this Huawei router is you can connect quite a few devices to it. So because we've got a lot of the wireless devices connected, so we've got quite a few Alexa devices connected, quite a few smart home devices connected, you can put up to 64 connections on there. We've nowhere near reached that limit yet, so that's good. The Vodafone antenna that, that we connect to, it currently only does 4G, um, so that works fine with the router. I think if it goes up to 5G, I will have to get another router, but this isn't necessarily about the Huawei router. It's about how I really, really increase the speed of my uh, Wi-Fi around the house or my broadband around the house via my, via my Wi-Fi. The second thing is, if you're getting great speeds outside of your flat or your house, but you're getting speeds that aren't acceptable on your mobile device inside, and you still want to go down this route because your broadband's terrible, one of the things that you can do is, you can get a directional aerial like this. Uh, there's basically two antennae in here, and you connect these two leads. Now I've had to actually get converters that go on there, but you connect these two leads to those antenna ports on the back of the router. And then basically you can just wire this so it goes outside of your house. You point it at the antenna that your provider's using um, and you should get a much, much better signal. So as I said, to try to understand how much that would be improved, take your mobile phone outside and do a speed check outside. And if that's a good speed, then you can use something like this outside. Just drill through the wall, drill through the window frame and just use this on the outside of the building. And that's it in a nutshell. It was so easy to do. When I eventually stumbled on it, uh, it was simply a case of buy the router, find a provider that's got an antenna near you, check the speed on it. And if you're happy with that, as I said, just get an unlimited uh, data package from that supplier, bang the card in and you're away. It made such a difference. It's not about the Huawei router. There's other routers out there. It's more about just changing from a, a wired broadband to the home to um, a, just a data package that's, that's mobile. It's fantastic. Do it.